Hello everyone, welcome to Monty Excel, Excel in Life. In today's session, we will see how to unprotect Excel worksheet without password, no VBA required, no special software required to do this. All right, in this worksheet, I have some important information. I don't want anyone to modify my content. I can see there is a sales analysis dashboard based on the months, it's changing its view. So I'm going to apply protection and to do that, I click on the review. Once you click on the review, you can see there is a protection sheet option available. Once you click on the protection sheet, here where we are going to provide a password. So let's say Monty as a password here. Once I say, okay, I need to reconfirm the password again as Monty. All right, once you specify the password, now you can see there are 17 billion cells in the Excel are going to be locked and nobody can edit this without password. Now, when I try to click on this anywhere in the cells, it will show it is protected. Now, assume that you forgot the password and you are trying to open this file and uh, instead of the right password, if you are trying to give any other password, it will show you that it is protected now. Okay, I'm going to save the file now. Save and close. You can see the file is showing on the desktop as a sales dashboard. And the extension by default is .xlsx. Now in order to change the extension from xlsx to zip, where we are going to unlock the password, we need to provide as .zip. So provide as .zip. Once you mention as a zip and say enter, it will tell you that are you sure you want to change it? Because if you change the new name extension, this might become unusable. That's fine for me. Let's say S and you can see the folder has changed to zip. Now try double clicking it. You can see there is a subfolders for the zip. There is an Excel folder and there is a folder called worksheets. Now you can see on the screen, uh, there are different sheets. Almost I have 11 sheets in my workbook uh, based on your case. Like if you have one sheet, it will show as a one. If you have 10, it will show as a 10. The first sheet is now protected. Now we need to unlock it. In order to do that, you just take a copy of this sheet one. I'm dragging it to the desktop. Now you can see there is a copy of this sheet one dot X XML which is an extended markup language. Now what I'll do is I'll click on, right click on the XML file and say open with, open with, you need to open with a notepad. Once you open with the notepad, you can see there's a lot of information and it's really difficult to find what we have want to remove from this sheet. So what you can do is use control F and try to find protection. Once you hit enter, you'll find protection within this notepad. Once you find the notepad, what you can do is from the sheet protection, from the left bracket to the right bracket, try checking where exactly it is ending. Okay, I can see here, it is ending here exactly. Now this selected portion, we have to delete it. Once you delete, save back, now the file is saved. By this time, the production is already gone. So you just try to replace this sheet1.xml. Now it's saying that you want to copy or replace. It's fine for me, copy and replace. Now you can close this file explorer. Also, I can delete the file which you copied on your desktop. You can delete. And from zip, again, you need to change to dot xlsx let's try to change to dot xlsx and hit enter again you are going to see the same message that is by changing the file name extension the file might become unusable or you show you want to change it say s because you want to change to excel file once it has changed to the excel file you need to open the file and see if it is unprotected sure enough it was unprotected, I can click anywhere. You can click anywhere, it is allowing me. In order to make sure, just go to the review and see 
whether it's showing as unprotect or protect. So that means the protection has gone now. The password is no more required. You can edit, you can delete, you can do whatever the changes you want to do on your Excel file. If you find this video informative, then click on like button and make sure to subscribe to Monty Excel. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.